Pisces, this is your bonus reading for September 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Pisces for September 2023. In love, universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for September 2023. In love, universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Pisces for September 2023. In love. Okay. <laughs> show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Pisces, this is you. <clears throat> this is your partner. So, Pisces, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For September 2023, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Pisces, is the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the five of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the five of pentacles for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the fool. <clears throat> Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For Pisces and their partner. Clarify the fool for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the fool for Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the water element, the earth element, the air element, the fire element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. So Pisces could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician. For Pisces and their partner. Clarify the magician. For Pisces and their partner. Clarify the magician. For Pisces and their partner. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity. But she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Pisces could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, someone here could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. Also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Pisces and their partner. 
it is clarified with the three of cups scorpio cancer or pisces <clears throat> This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Pisces, listen, <clears throat> you can tell me that you guys have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Hmm. Pisces. You can tell me that you guys broke up because someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship, that there was a cutting off here. And it very well could have been a cutting off because there was a third party. But I want to know if you guys broke up, but someone is wanting to start new here, willing to start new here, and maybe setting out on a brand new journey, possibly wanting to file some type of legal documentation or paperwork to have just cause to celebrate. We'll see. Could also be that someone is wanting to start new here. Wanting to make things right and have a have this communication or conversation here or set the record straight here and reuniting. We'll see. I hope that we're not dealing with a situation where we're dealing with these coins and the lack thereof and someone taking a risk or a chance here and someone is filing something and hoping to have just cause to celebrate. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the King of Wands. You have the Eight of Wands. Your partner has the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords? Yeah, Queen of Swords. Your partner has the Two of Wands. And your partner has... The three of wands, <clears throat> Pisces. The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is it very well could have been a breakup because someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Someone is wanting to cut things off here because there may have been a third party. You guys could have broken up, but someone may want to start new here, okay? Set the record straight and reunite. Someone could tell me that, yes, we've broken up, but maybe I want to start a whole new era in love here. Maybe file some type of legal documentation or paperwork to have just cause to celebrate. And like I said, I hope nothing is going on with these coins here where someone is needing to file something, okay, and hoping to have just cause to celebrate. Pisces, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Pisces, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Clarify the star. For Pisces. Clarify the star for Pisces. Clarify the star for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory, but this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So listen, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Now, Pisces, very well could be that this person is coming in to apologize to you or you them, okay? It could be vice versa. You know, they may want to heal things, mend things, work things out with you, okay? And maybe you're needing to have this conversation with this person or make a decision on whether or not you want to accept could also be that it's you wanting to come in to apologize, to heal things, mend things, work things out with them, okay? And you're needing to have this conversation with this person. But I feel like it may be you needing to make a decision, we'll see. 
Remember when I said that I don't know if someone wants to start this new era in love here and file some type of legal documentation and have just cause to celebrate? This Knight of Cups can be a proposal here. Could be your wish and you're needing to make a decision. We'll see. Pisces, you have the King of Wands. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the King of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Pisces, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Pisces. Clarify judgment. For Pisces, clarified judgment for Pisces. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Hmm. Now, Pisces, listen, you can tell me that, yes, you guys had some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama here, and someone's asking for forgiveness and a second chance. But I want to know if you're conflicted within about giving forgiveness and a second chance here or asking because as the king of wands this is someone who initiates so are you initiating asking you conflicted within about it is it you that is wanting to have this conversation and come in with this apology i don't know just asking you have the eight of wands aries leo or sag this can indicate that things are happening quickly this can speak to travel, but this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face-to-face -face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Pisces, listen, you can tell me that something is happening quickly here. This could involve travel. You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Pisces. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Pisces. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Pisces, listen, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. But in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. You know, Pisces, you can tell me that you guys had this heated discussion or argument, and this is the reason why you guys' commitment is ending here. You can tell me that someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. They had competition in you guys' situation here, and this may be the reason why things are ending. But I want to know, is something happening quickly here with conversation concerning commitment? Because like I said, this is a proposal here. You may be conflicted within about your decision or your judgment here because something is happening quickly. I don't know. I'm just asking very quickly here. I just, I really want to go with that too. Listen, you guys, it could have been something going on financially here where someone took a risk or a chance, okay? 
and someone's just trying to manifest maybe getting to the bottom of something or having some type of conversation here okay possibly so we can reunite because someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance here however pisces i feel like you guys may have been broken up but someone is coming in here fast freaking fast for your ass over here trying to manifest like i said filing some type of legal documentation or paperwork to have just cause to celebrate because someone could have commitment on the brain here pisces your partner has the queen of swords gemini libra aquarius this queen is a no-nonsense type of queen she already knows the truth she'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity but she has no problems with cutting people places and things out of her life that no longer serve her could be dealing with this gemini libra aquarius or someone with air prominent in their charts however your partner could be taking on the energy of this queen of swords and cutting something out also with the queen of swords this can be legal documentation or paperwork clarify the queen of swords for pisces partner clarify the queen of swords for pisces partner clarify the queen of swords for pisces partner it is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So, Pisces, your partner is telling me that they're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and they're just wanting to release it. You know, your partner could tell me that, hey, it was too tough. I had to do some cutting here. Or your partner's telling me that I'm releasing this burden, setting the record straight, maybe getting to the bottom of something, or releasing this burden, wanting to file some type of legal documentation or paperwork here. Pisces, your partner has the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So your partner's at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here, Pisces. Let's clarify the two of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the two of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the two of wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the ten of swords. Oh, God. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Pisces, your partner's feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so they could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. Three tens on the board here. So if they're feeling a sense of betrayal, it's you that needs to come in and have this conversation to heal things with this person, to apologize here. Ask for forgiveness and a second chance. I don't know if it's over some type of argument here. And I don't know if it was something that you said that was really, really sharp. <laughs> Is your partner telling me, hell, I'm dealing with the Queen of Swords over here in Pisces. Hmm. Hmm. Your partner's trying to figure out where to go from here? They're feeling a sense of betrayal here. Pisces, your partner has a three of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner waiting. Waiting for their ships to come in. Waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there. Looking to expand. So, Pisces, listen. Your partner could tell me that they're waiting. Your partner could tell me that their ships are here. Your partner could tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there. Looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. Clarify the three of wands for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. 
Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, partner. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Pisces, yeah, you could be dealing with your soulmate here, but this can also be in an agreement. Now, your partner could tell me that they were expecting something here, waiting on something here concerning an agreement with stability. Could be a financial stability here, dealing with these coins, or maybe with some type of commitment. And when I look at this, it makes me feel like your partner could tell me that I was waiting to solidify our soulmate connection by having something more stable here. So was there some type of proposal and you needed to make a decision? You gave your judgment and that judgment caused some type of argument? Was it them wanting to go into some type of commitment? And the reason why they're feeling a sense of betrayal is that you turned them down? Because this, this looks like a turn down to me. You know, I'm going to set this here. Because I'm going to say that I feel like someone wanted to take this leap of faith and manifest file some type of legal documentation or paperwork to have just cause to celebrate. But there was a turn down. I said there was a turn down and it may have caused a breakup between you guys. Right, I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Pisces. This is just additional messages here. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. Desire, lust, sexual chemistry. Okay. Chemistry is off the chain. What else for Pisces and their partner? What else for Pisces and their partner? Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. You know what? I'm so serious. Like, I am so serious. I promise you. I think the last three or four reads or so before your read, which is what? Let's just see if I can think. <laughs> I think is either Virgo, Leo, Scorpio, maybe even Gemini. It just seems like these two cards are coming out and I'm shuffling the cards. I'm telling you, desire and cleansing your space. Hmm. Some type of lust. I don't know if someone's over lusty and desiring someone and just need to sage. I think it's time for sage around here. I don't know. Look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. Look inside yourself and examine what is causing you to feel this way. I don't know. Feel lusty. I need to clean up or something. I need to cleansing. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Pisces, this is your bonus reading for September 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.